My name is Stuart Ryan. I am General Manager for Here Technologies for the Americas Sales Region. And I'm thrilled today to be joined by Bill Voss, VP of Engineering with Amazon Web Services. And we're here today to talk about the further relationship between Here Technologies and AWS with the deployment of Here Positioning Technology as part of the AWS IoT Core device feature. Welcome, Bill. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> it's great to have you, great to have you. So maybe we can start with talking a little bit, I mean, why the relationship with Here Technologies? Why did you want to get involved? What are the potential opportunities and benefits uh, as you see them for the industry and for customers? Well, I mean, Here has the most accurate base mapping systems, and of course, we have a long partnership with Here in our last mile delivery, because we need to have those packages arrive at exactly the right place. And you can't do it without a great map system like Here provides. Uh, and then we've integrated Here into our Amazon location systems as yeah. well, and then we're integrating that and with here through all of our services across AWS. So you can get a uh, quick site and do geospatial mapping and geospatial data law, uh, uh, delivery right on top of the mm -hmm. Amazon location. Our new uh, Amazon supply chain product yeah. that we just launched is on top of here through Amazon location as well. And then as you mentioned, our IoT is integrated with yeah. it. And we're interested in where 3D maps are going as well together for ADAS simulation, and we just launched a huge product called uh, Simulation Space that lets you simulate whole cities. And well, we need great base maps for that and 3D maps for that, so yeah. a lot of exciting things. Yeah, and off the top of your mind, I mean, what do you see as the, you know, the priority industries and segments, you know, business applications that have a need for this technology? Well, I think first, everything has a location. Right, I mean, so anyone who deals with locations, uh, but specifically, I think the biggest area is anyone who does manufacturing, logistics, or shipping. They'd probably yeah. be the first, biggest, most important uh, to optimize manufacturing, logistics, and uh, make sure they can deliver to their customer and their supply chains are running properly. That all yeah. is based on location and traffic data, and of course. those kinds of things. Uh, next, of course, is uh, industrial bases, uh, also for their supply chain, but also governments uh, are obviously very, very, very important there between Department of Defenses and FEMAs and those, those kinds of things. And, uh, you know, uh, just even retail, sort of across the board, everything needs a location and needs to be able to find things. And Absolutely. So, so it's a, a, a pretty broadly applicable. Yeah, yeah. So I've got a real uh, a passion for transportation and logistics. Yes. And obviously, location is ubiquitous and relevant across transportation and logistics. Yeah. You know, what do you see as the key enablers you know, that are needed required within the TNL space, as we call it? And you know, where do you see you know, the partnership between AWS and Gear Technologies going into uh, transportation and logistics helping? Well, so, so we're deploying uh, things like FleetWise, which operates in vehicle yes. uh, and provides vehicle telemetry, and that's integrated with IVI systems and navigation systems. Uh, we have uh, all of the EDI traffic uh, coming off of uh, vehicles as well mm -hmm. that has location, so you can see where your fleet is yeah. when things are getting delivered. Um, obviously, we have also things like drones, and they need locations for drone delivery in and, and those areas. Uh, and then, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, uh, ADAS is going to be an important part for it as well as things become more autonomous, both yeah. for fleet vehicles, like large uh, uh, autonomous truck deliveries for long haul and those kinds of things are going to need advanced mapping, both for training, but it's always good to have as an update a map as you can, but yeah. to operate without maps as well, but that's yeah. important. And then, uh, you know, we're, we're doing a lot in space as well. So space systems uh, are, are Kuiper deployments that are yeah. coming out that'll provide yeah. Uh, continuous connectivity everywhere, having the location lined up with that along with our LoRaWAN service is also location based lined up with that. So it's, it's just everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It, the opportunity is immense. It's just all over the place. It's really yeah. a question of where to, where to focus, you right. know, to take advantage of this. So everyone's obviously, you know, you know during the pandemic, post pandemic, yeah. coming out of the pandemic crisis, everybody's getting used to hear words like supply chain crunch yeah. and challenges. And, you know, how do you think about the opportunities there and what should stakeholders and ecosystem players in the TNL space and location space be thinking about as top of mind uh, areas of focus going into 2023 and beyond? Well, I always, you know, I always say if you're not simulating, you're falling behind your competition. So really taking advantage of simulating and prediction logistics mm. is important, mm. along with real-time location data coming in off of your fleet mm. uh, and from your supplier. So yep. integrated sort of supply chain with your suppliers, uh, 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 tracking uh, your products as they're delivered, uh, 
building digital twins of your manufacturing yeah. center and then linking that into your supply chain and your logistics and all the location data that's important. Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, if you have consumer products, those are uh, also, consumers are very location-based because they That's are right. always someplace, yes. <laughs> right? And so being able to have location-aware products right. is, a, is a big deal as well. But your IoT systems and uh, smart devices, smart homes, all of that stuff, uh, uh, location gets to be very important. Absolutely, Lo location is ubiquitous yeah. in this. And I think you also hit on one of the threads that we think about as well in terms of the connectivity you know, between and in and across the ecosystem and right. location and obviously cloud service providers being able to help provide that degree of connectivity yeah. and open up those use cases and be able to unleash the value. Well, Bill, thank you so much for your time today. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, it's great. It's, I'm really excited about our, par our partnership and what we're doing together and I look forward to all the great things we're going to deliver together. <laughs> As do we. Thank you so much.